Hello everyone. Just wanted to share a video with you all uh, using the uh, Renergy 1000 watt inverter, uh, 12 volt with the uh, watt cycle 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. See how long it can power the uh, 5000 BTU window unit. It's an older unit, uh, but just wanted to see what uh, how long it would power it if it'll power it at all which it should I haven't tried this uh, but this is great company right here uh, this one if you check uh, some of my pre previous videos you'll see the unboxing of the uh, of the 1000 energy um, inverter and also the unboxing of the watt cycle battery uh, this battery it's uh, I, I did a, a video also on the unboxing of it, like I said, but I just, or, I ordered another one, I just got another one today. Same, same size, uh, it's got a low temperature protection, high temperature protection, uh, it's, it's just the, the, the size of it, it's a group 24, so yeah, it's a nice product. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, connect the inverter and uh, see how uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and time it see how long it can uh, can uh, power the window the 5000 uh, BTU free jar window unit right now okay let's see how much the battery is at 13 13.35 okay okay so here we're going to connect the positive cable of the um, inverter to the positive uh, terminal of the battery okay we'll make sure we want to make sure that it it's nice and tight okay okay now before you connect the uh, just gonna give you all a little a little hint here before you connect the negative to the negative um, you this is the first time that I connect this inverter but what you want to do instead of just to you so you don't get a spark just get a little pencil the lead and the lead just hold it for a little bit there and you'll never get a spark you'll never get a spark uh, on any inverter all you gotta do is get a little pencil or a pencil and just make it sharpen on both ends and touch the lead to the lead the led to the terminal and the led to the cable you'll never have a spark okay that's that nice and tight again this is just to try it out okay now let's go ahead and turn the uh, the inverter is on okay okay and here we're gonna use this uh, kilowatt just gonna go ahead and plug it in there okay okay just put a little piece of uh, what is just for a little piece of two by four just to we can uh, of course everything there's nothing connected to it 60 Hertz where's the wattage right there okay so let me go ahead on and unplug the the AC unit okay this is the core that comes from the uh, I'll go ahead and connect it here oops Okay, let me go ahead and connect it here. Light, got the light on right there. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we have our inverter, our kilowatt, our AC cord connected battery. Here we go. Okay. Let's turn our timer on. So that's how many watts is that? Okay, we're going to go ahead and press start. Just leave that one, it'll come back and check it. Seventy-three watts, of course it's just the fan, the compressor hasn't kicked in, so we'll just wait a little bit um, for the compressor to kick in. There it is. I think I heard it. Four hundred. 526 580 489 487 yeah that's a little quick setup right there for the uh, for this little window unit so we'll come back and uh, check it in 15 minutes so the okay okay just real quick 87 okay It's blowing, blowing nice cold there, 69, 63, alright, so we just turned it on, and here is uh, reading 87, but you know this little inverter, I mean this uh, 1000 Renogy, I mean, and this little battery, you know, practical, very practical to uh, run a unit like that, you know, the battery should run it like for at that rate five twenty eight two hours maybe but again if the if you cool cool down your little room and then it turns off and it's not gonna it's not be not gonna be consuming uh, energy we're already at five minutes going on five, four twenty four minutes and twenty something uh, seconds Okay, so here we're still going here, going on 15 minutes, 14 minutes and uh, 40 something seconds, 42. Not warm at all. So yeah, it's uh, still pulling five, 529. Because this is an older unit, I. So I'm, I'm gonna replace it hopefully uh, I have my eyes on uh, one unit that, uh, that I'm trying to get just, uh, just gotta, I'm trying to save on it save money on it for it so uh, yeah nice little battery nice little inverter with a small window AC unit you know and if you have some solar coming into it you know, right now I, I don't have anything connected into it, but uh, yeah, I mean, you can have your little little um, power station, something small, you know, nothing, nothing major for 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 a little small window unit. So here we have the other one. So I'll do another unboxing on it with both of them uh, together on the next video. All right, well, let me see, that's, um, I'll come back, uh, we'll come back in an hour and see uh, if it's still going. So still going at um, an hour and 10 minutes almost. So that's going to conclude this video. I just want to... 
let you know if, if you're looking for a battery and a good battery that's got a low temperature or shot of protection and high temperature you need to get one of these and you need to get it today because the tariffs are coming and I, I just received the other one today I think I ordered it on Saturday I believe now this one there was a special um, I'll leave a link in the description I think I paid 150 for it I'm not sure they're still around for that that amount but uh, they got they have different kinds different um, uh, amp hours so you gotta check check them out uh, this one is uh, it's not the mini they have a mini one but it but it, it's small enough practical group 20 uh, 24 and of course everybody knows that brand or energy very reliable uh, company so I uh, hope, hope all uh, you all enjoy the video and hope this uh, system helps somebody like always stay safe and stay prepared bye